Cheeky Richo's Panforte. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Italian Panforte. This Italian Christmas cake is very easy to do, tastes delicious, it's incredibly rich and it keeps very well. The first thing that we're going to do is we've got mixed nuts here. You can get any combination of nuts that you like. But we've got almonds, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, all sorts of nuts here. Traditionally you would just use almonds or hazelnuts but we like the combination here. We're just going to pop those into our oven which has been preheated at 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to let those become crispy and a bit aromatic for about 5 to 8 minutes. Now we have a 20 centimetre or 8 inch spring form pan which has been lightly greased and we have lined the base of it with baking paper. We've chopped our dessert figs and we've actually chopped the little hard stem off it because that doesn't go very well in your cake chopped our apricots and now we're going to get on to the rest of our ingredients. To a pan over a low heat we're going to add our brown sugar, our honey, we're using a lovely brush box flavoured honey here, you could of course use any honey that you prefer, and our chocolate and we're just going to mix that on a low heat until the sugar is completely dissolved and then we're going to cook it until it reaches soft ball stage which is about 116 degrees Celsius on a candy thermometer if you have one of those. And now for our other ingredients, we've just got our dessert figs here, very soft dried figs, our dried apricots, our cocoa, ground cinnamon, mixed spice, and our flour. Just mix those to combine while our honey and chocolate and brown sugar is cooking. I just set that to one side. Now once our mixture has come to a slight boil, a little bubble, don't stir it after that because we don't want to return that sugar to its crystal state and by stirring it whilst it's boiling that's exactly what will happen. Okay we're just going to check our temperature now. It's in the slowest speed that this wok will do. Okay, that's us. Turn it off. Just make sure nothing's stuck on the bottom. If you dropped a small amount of this into a glass of cold water, in fact I'll show you that, we'll just get a small amount of that and just drop it into, don't drop it on your hand, you'll be sorry, into the glass, that's cold water, and you fetch it out, it'll make a, a soft ball. Can you see that? It's a soft ball, very sort of chewy. doesn't crack when you pull it apart, it's more like a caramel. Mm, yum. Now our nuts are out of the oven now, you can see they're slightly toasted, we're just going to slide those in with our flour, cocoa and fruit mixture. They're really quite hot so you don't want to touch them with your hands. That's what I preach. Okay, now we just give this a bit of a mix around and then we're going to put that straight into our honey chocolate mixture and mix it quickly before pressing it into our prepared pan. You can remove the skins off these nuts if you like, but I'm not inclined to do that. Now, everything in with our chocolate. And just mix it very quickly because the chocolate will be starting to solidify and we need to get all that flour incorporated. The nuts will help it along because the nuts are going to reheat that chocolate mixture. Just mix that right in. The mixture is well combined now. We're just going to push it into our tin. Don't forget it's really quite hot so be careful that you don't burn yourself. And press it right out and then we're going to bake it 180 degrees about 25 minutes. So just press it out, pop it onto a baking tray in case you have some leaks. Now traditionally this has mixed peel in it but we don't like mixed peel so that's why it's not having it. If you're a fan of mixed peel by all means incorporate it and I would suggest you add only about 30 to 50 grams of that. This is really, this is actually burning through the spatula and the tin is quite hot to hold. So just press that firmly around and into the oven we go. 180 degrees. Try and make sure there's chocolate covering the nuts so that they don't burn. There we go. Into the oven we go. After 25 minutes in the oven, this is what you should have. We're going to allow it to completely cool in the tin before taking it out and serving it. Okay, our pinaforte is cool. We're just going to remove it from the tin. So just release the base. It's really quite flat. Base off. And we're going to cut it. Now grab a sharp knife, and this is going to be a little bit difficult, but just press in. And we're going to cut some very small wedges of our pianoforte. Small wedges because it's very rich. Chock a block with nuts. Mm. 
well. And that's what you should have. Okay, liberal dust of icing sugar. And your pianoforte is ready to serve. Serve that with a lovely strong cup of coffee. Cheeky Richo's pianoforte. Let me taste, shall we? This is so rich and sweet, a strong fruit and honey flavour, and of course the chocolate. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Cheeky Richard's Panaforte. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richard channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you, and then we're uploading lots of videos every week. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.